I go in this new casino, I sit down, blackjack, I come out six grand poor, my car is not there. Now I parked in a disabled bay, so I parked there. So when I got out and my car ain't there, I was like, they must have towed my car. They towed it for parking in a disabled bay because you can't steal brand new Aston Martin. So I went, I looked at the sign, I called the number up, called the tow truck guy. He's like, hi, you've, you've towed my car. He goes, what car is it? I said, it's Aston Martin. He goes, there's no Aston Martin here. I'm like, what do you mean you don't have an Aston Martin? Are you sure? He goes, bro, the guy on the phone goes, your car's been stolen. I was like, you can't steal brand new Aston Martins. He goes, I get these calls every day, Ferrari, Aston Martin, Lamborghini, someone stole your fucking car. I was like, no fucking way. They stole my car. So I never had a car stolen before. So I called the police. Hi, my car's been stolen. They go, tell me what happened. I said, my car's been stolen. I was in the casino. I just lost some money. I'm at this casino. I'm in central London. So he goes, okay, we're sending an officer right away. I start trying to get the tracker company. They're not replying. They're not open. So I go to the casino management. I say, my car's been stolen. I need to see the CCTV from outside the front of the casino. Eventually the manager comes back down and goes, yep, your car was stolen. And what happened was this. When I got out of the car and locked the car, there was a van maybe 20 meters ahead. And when I pressed the button to lock the car, they somehow picked up the code of the key on a laptop and they replicated the key code. And on CCTV, you see me lock the car, go inside. Five minutes later, these dudes got in the back of a van, dressed as traffic wardens, dressed with the in full uniform, so no one suspected a thing with a laptop, press a few buttons, the car unlocks. There's three of them. Two, one can get in the other side. The one, the third one goes to the back, opens up the boot instinctively. Goes in the boot, takes out my fucking briefcase. Passport, iPad, my second phone. Everything was in a fucking briefcase in the boot of my car. Guy takes the briefcase, closes it, thing. They sit in the car for another three to four minutes. Bang, they get started and they fucking speed off. Unbelievable. So now I know my car's been stolen. So I'm sitting there, I call the police back and go, it's been a fucking hour, where are you guys? My car's been fucking stolen, my car's been stolen. We're sending someone, we're sending someone. Yeah, well, it's very busy. Only in London is there enough crime on a Sunday at 4 a.m. that the police are overworked. I had to wait two and a half hours and eventually guess who turns up? Two women in a Corsa. Two females. One was about five foot two. Bro, she was like this big. And then her counterpart was a little bit bigger. These two little, little, little girls turn up in a, in a Vauxhall Opal Corsa. Oh, h hello, Mr. Tate. I was like, who are you? We're the police to take a statement. Take a statement? I want to take a statement. I got my fucking car back. By now it's almost 9 a.m. I've been calling the car salesman because I had his personal number. I bought the car from saying the car's been stolen. He goes, okay, I'll find a way to get the tracker activated. Da, da, da. So I'm sitting there with the girls and the car salesman calls back. Goes, okay, we've got the location of the car. It's still in London. We've got the track ID. He sent me the track ID so knew where the car was. So I said to the police women, I know where the car is. Let's go. You know what they said to me? We can't chase your car. I was like, what do you mean? Oh, we don't send, we in car thefts, because people never stop, we won't send the police to chase them because it's a, a public hazard. And she goes, well, we're not chase trained anyway. I said, like, what does that mean? She goes, oh, well, our car is not prepared to chase and we're not chase trained. I said, like, why did they send two fucking police officers who aren't chase trained in a car that can't drive fast to a car theft? So what kind of bullshit is this? She goes, we're just here to take a statement. Okay, statement, my car was stolen. Done, statement. She goes, no, no, we need to take a proper statement. And if we take a proper statement, maybe we can get the helicopter out. It's like, okay, fine. So I'm sitting there, I'm fucking frustrated now. So I'm sitting there, go, all right, statement, let's go. Let's get this over quick. Let's get the helicopter out. Let's find the fucking car. She goes, okay, um, name? Andrew, Tate. Date of birth. I don't have time for this shit. My car's been fucking stolen. What do you mean name, date of birth, where you live? What happened? I went in the casino and then I came out. My car wasn't there. My fucking car was stolen, you fucking bimbo. I ain't got time for this shit. So right in front of the police officers, I call my boy and I say, Fahid, get the fucking Ferrari. We're going to fucking chase this car. The police officer goes, uh, excuse me. Uh, no, you can't chase it. I said, like, whoa, if the police aren't going to chase the car, I'll chase my own fucking car. So I called my boy. I said, he's coming to get me in 15 minutes in his Ferrari. We'll fucking chase the car. You're telling me your car can't catch it. We'll catch it. And they go, uh, no, no, no. That's unlawful behavior. Uh, she gets on the radio saying he's going to chase the car. He's going to chase the car. Over the radio, I heard them discussing, detaining me. The Met police are now threatening to arrest me to prevent me from fucking chasing my own car through London because it's a public health hazard. Unbelievable. I'm sitting there saying, is, is this the fucking clown world Britain has become? Are you serious that we know where the stolen car is? You won't even fucking intercept it. And when I want to go intercept my own car, you're threatening to arrest me to prevent me from damaging public health. What kind of fucking, on what planet is this? They're on the radio back and forth, back and forth. And, and I heard the little one say, oh, maybe we need a male officer. Basically saying we can't arrest this dude. Because these two little women who can't arrest me, but threatening to, can't chase anyone, but telling me I have to fucking sit still. So I said, okay, I agree. This is my public declaration. I got my phone out and start recording. This is my declaration. I agree. I will not chase the car. I'm saying now I'm free to go. I'm not a criminal. I'm free to go. I will not chase the car. And they were like, they knew I was lying. <laughs> they were like, he's gonna go chase the car. So you're free to go. I've left my statement. I'm not gonna chase the car. I'm going to Costa. I want a coffee. I'm going to have a coffee. Thank you, officers. Thank you. I'm going. Eventually, someone half sane over the radio said, okay, we're gonna send an interception unit. When my boy Fahid pulls up outside, I jump in the Rari in front of the two stupid ass bimbos standing there watching me and we fucking speed off. So by the time I get to the car's location, the police are already there. And what the thieves have done is they've taken the car, stripped it of all my, my briefcase, everything, and they parked it 
And the reason they do this is because they know luxury cars have trackers. So they park it in like a hidden location and they leave it for like two weeks, three weeks, four weeks. And they wait and see if it gets found. And if it doesn't get found, then they worry about what to do with it. Because they don't want to do anything too much of it while there's a tracker on it because they get caught in the car. And they have a lookout. So they have a lookout watching to see if police turn up. So once the police turn up, the thieves know the game's up. So when we got there, the police were already there and the police are like looking in the windows around. He goes, yeah, in one of these council houses, they have a lookout who's who's been here waiting for us, who's probably already told the thieves that the car had a tracker. I was like, okay. And I got to, I went to open the car to sit in it, sit inside of it. And there's a newspaper. In fact, stay right here. I need to demonstrate this to you so you understand it. Imagine this is a newspaper. And there was a newspaper folded in half, so like a newspaper like this. And it had tape on the bottom, some tape. And it was on the passenger seat. So I get in the car. I didn't want to touch it. I said to the police, that's not mine. It might be some prints or something. They left that there. Police officer goes, ah, okay. Gets, puts his gloves on. Takes it, picks it up. It wasn't a newspaper. Inside was a knife. So it's two or three pieces of paper like this. It's thin. This is the handle with tape. And it looks like they're holding a piece of paper, but they can just can stab you. Never see it in a million years. So there's a knife there. So they take the knife for DNA. I take my car to Aston Martin. Next day I get a call from the head of organized crime for the Met. And he said, hi, my name is whatever, whatever. Can you come down to the police station ASAP? And for once I thought, you know what? Through all the incompetence, finally a man has called me, a, a real person. And he's the head of something. And he invites me down to the police station. So I go down to the police station. He goes, we now have their DNA and fingerprints. We know who they are. So he goes, we're gonna be making arrests in the next two days. I was like, bam! And, and how long are these guys going to jail? He goes, minimum five, year, five years. So I was impressed for once. So I went home, chilling, chilling, chilling. Two days later, I get a call from the guy. Uh, bad news. He goes, they fled the country. I was like, he goes, someone must have tipped them off or they must have known that somehow maybe they looked you up on social media. Because what happened next was a long series of bullshit. What happened was that I was chasing the police every couple days for an update and they just stopped replying to me. Three months after this, eventually I get an email from this guy going, hi, uh, can you come down to the police station again? I drive down to London again. I get in the police station. He goes, go, what's going on? Have we found them yet? He goes, they're back in the country and they're under surveillance by MI5. So we cannot arrest them because they're literally under surveillance or something else. So we can't arrest them because they're involved in high level drug trafficking, human trafficking, all these things. Cool. So basically they're running around free. He goes, yeah, but when we catch them and arrest them for the other things, your charge is going to be put on top. These people are going to jail for a very, very long time. Months and months and months, never heard anything. Four years later, I got an email from the police officer. Do you know what he said? Hi, just give you an update, Mr. Tate. One of the men is in jail for life and the other two have fled the country and haven't returned. So I called him and said, so where's the two gone? He goes, well, they fled the country out of Morocco and we don't believe they're ever going to return to the UK because the three of them were involved in a murder, a double homicide. Now they could have saved that person's life. The person who got stabbed to death could still be alive today if they arrested the fuckers when they stole my fucking car. But instead they let them run around London watching them. Let's just watch them while they fucking committed crime after crime after crime and ended up stabbing some innocent guy to death. Some dude who was like 42 with like four kids. Some fucking normal dude stabbed him to death for his fucking wallet. So one's gone to jail, two are in fucking Morocco living the high life. That is the British justice system. The only person who was getting, besides the dude in jail, I had more threats of arrest than the other two. The other two fuckers weren't even getting threatened to be arrested. They were gonna arrest me for trying to get my own fucking car back. London is a failed society.